Well, here's another uh, old radio project. I like working on these. This one belongs to a friend of mine. It's uh, the cabinet's already been restored. Looks beautiful. And it's a Zenith uh, model 6S223 from 1938. Uh, I love the dial. Very cool. Cabinet's in great shape. Let's put it down there. I have the schematic for it, so bonus there. It was in my uh, most often needed 1926 to 38 radio diagrams. So, let's spin it around here. The back side of it. Uh, looks pretty original. Uh, all the tubes are in there. Now, when it I got it, picked it up from my friend, it had this plate on the back of it, kind of like that, which kind of made it um, not really usable because you, know, you couldn't get any heat out with that you know, wood on the back. I think um, I think she said her dad restored this the cabinet, so maybe he put that on to keep it clean inside, which it did, but uh, wouldn't have played very long before overheating. So, I uh, haven't taken it apart yet, but I did fire it up. Got it run through the isolation transformer and the variac and dim bulb tester. And we fire it up here. Get a nice, kind of faint glow on the bulb. And dial lights are working. You get that nice buzz power supply buzz from it. So. so I think there's probably a cap issue that we have to look at. So that's the next step is to go ahead and uh, pull it out of there and uh, see what's been done or hasn't been done. The chassis has been removed from its case. And here was the little board that was on the back. We'll either have to leave off or cut some slots in it for ventilation. And the chassis looks pretty original, pretty good shape. I was glad to see that this original uh, capacitor, can capacitor, was left on there and not removed. It's been removed electrically sometime, probably back in the 50s or 60s, but. Um, looks very original to have that there still. It's a six tube set transformer type system. So let's flip it over here. Take a look under the hood. And it's got the original serial number right there. Good to see. And pretty clean underneath. Uh, here is the electrolytic capacitor that uh, replaced that one on top. You know, judging, I think, by the age, I'd say that's, you know, maybe from back in the 50s or maybe 60s. All the other capacitors, except for there's one little sprig right here that was probably replaced at the same time this electrolytic was, but the rest of these are the original um, wax paper capacitors, which will need to go. So those will all be replaced. And it looks like the power cord has been replaced, but uh, I'll go ahead and put a uh, hidden fuse in there too to protect the uh, transformer in case uh, the rectifier ever shorts out. So that's the next step is to go ahead and order uh, some electrolytics to replace this one because I don't have the, that. All the rest of these I think I already have. So. Um, That'll be the only real cost, I think, will just be those. And I'll go ahead and test out the tubes this evening and see what uh, kind of shape they're in. Some of them are even the original um, Sylvania tubes, so that's pretty cool. And it needs a good cleaning. See the uh, uh, tuning capacitor has a bunch of dust bunnies in there, so they'll need to be cleaned up and uh, lubricated. Well, I got all the tubes pulled out of the Zenith radio. Do a quick tube check. 
and cleaned up the chassis and I really like this coating that they put on it. It's kind of a copper color uh, I don't know, paint or anodizing or something but um, cleaned up really nice with just some wet um, paper towels get all the dust off of it. Uh, I checked all the tubes out and uh, they look good. Just thought I'd show how that's what I use for a tube tester I borrowed from a friend of mine. It's a TV7DU uh, tube tester and the way you work it is you look up the tube that you have so this one's a 6F6G then you go look that up in the little manual here and it says to set the filament on 6.3 volts which I've got Six. Uh, and then it's, the code is uh, HS 5381 so set this to H S 5 34 51 let's double check that make sure I got that right Thirty-four, eighty-one. oops okay And 3481 and the bias setting is 29. The bias is 29. Set that there. And zero shunt. Set that there. I think it said B for ranges. Yeah, range B. And we're gonna hit button three. And hope for a uh, minimum value of 50. Let's plug this in. Give it a minute or two to warm up. And while we're doing that, we'll hit this uh, line adjust and make sure that we're set right in the middle. We are. We'll tweak this line adjust if that was off. You can see the tube glowing in the side there. So let's hit button three. You see we're getting a reading of 90 almost. And we needed what, like 50, I think it was? 50 for the okay, so it's a very good tube. And uh we tested all these tubes out uh out of the radio. They all tested very good, so seemed to be in good shape there. So hopefully just uh Swapping out, uh, recapping the radio, swapping out all the dead caps, uh, we'll get this thing running again. Now, the Zenith radio is uh, got all the tubes tested and everything tested very well on this one. So I've got it hooked back up again, put a little uh, antenna on it just to see if it'll bring in a signal. i got the speaker hooked back up again. And go ahead and turn it on. And I got one bulb out, which I've ordered some new bulbs. I'll probably replace them both because I think they're both pretty dim. I got some pretty bad hum, of course, which is what we originally noticed. So you can hear that. Definitely some bad filter caps. And scratchy volume control. Need to get some deoxid in on that. But we are pulling in a signal. So the radio is working, tone control, working, volume, scratchy, and I got the, uh, the tuning coil or tuning uh, capacitor and mechanism all lubricated up so that's real free. So I think we're okay. You know, the volume's not great and sound could be improved in that bad hum, but I think just a uh, capacitor upgrade will solve all those problems. Now the recapping of the uh, <coughs> Zenith radio is complete. It's got all new orange drop capacitors in there, replacing all the 
old uh, paper and wax capacitors. The only thing that's missing is the electrolytics, which I've got on order. Um, and here is the old ones. Here's the original Zenith capacitors. And then here's a little collection of replacements. This is Sprague Black Beauty, I think they used to call those. And a couple of wax ones. The old uh, <clears throat> dual uh, electrolytic, which was definitely bad. Not sure when those were replaced. Probably yeah, 50s, 60s, I think. And here was a, uh, a resistor that was um, melted in half. So I uh, replaced that little 1K resistor that was part of the... Uh, um, plate resistor for one of these stages. Not sure how it was working, but it was. So, just waiting on the electrolytics and then we'll uh, finish this thing up. Okay, got the uh, electrolytics installed in the Zenith video. And um, back in the cabinet, chassis back in. And it uh, is playing well. So a uh, pretty inexpensive repair, just a recap and um, a little bit of a tuning and replace the two dial lights. One was burned out, one was weak. So now it's good to go.